And I'm going to play a new game, and today, thanks for the suspense game, it is Time Splitters 2. Did I mention I was missing too much reason? Because if I didn't, I am. And if I did, I have very, very bad memory. So this is a one player game, this game is absolutely freaking awesome. When I say that, oh, sorry, actually, I should put me my controller away from the mic, that'll be quite loud on this game. This game is awesome in multiplayer, it's one of the best multiplayer games you've played with friends. It's a bit of weird control so it takes very much getting used to it. It's, why am I calling myself Chow? That is so stupid. Who calls myself Chow anymore? God, who calls myself Trunks? The one and the only best character in the whole fictional world. That is an opinion. But that is my name! Let's do it. This game, like I said, for multiplayer is just so much fun. Single player is good, but times it's free is the best single player, but I don't have. Uh, anyway. I already did a test file. I don't have. Um, times it's free is only on like, PS2, Xbox, and on. No, GameCube. Uh, this is obviously. I'm running this on the Wii. I don't have GameCube, but I can't be asked. It's really good. It's got Map Maker. I mean, you've got your own maps, you get bored of the ones in this game. Got so many modes which you unlock, a lot of unlockable characters. But we're gonna do a story and I think I'm gonna have to shut up because I'll give me a cutscene and I'm not very good at shutting up. But we'll see. Out of the dark, shutting up though. came with a hateful will to destroy humanity. We fought long and hard, but now we are lost, for they have taken their evil war into our past. Traveling through time, they have sown corruption, unraveling the fabric of our history. <coughs> our last chances to strike back, seize the time crystals, and turn their twisted weapon against them. The fight for survival has begun. Alpha base, do you copy? Over. Roger, you are clear to go. Proceed as planned, and good luck. Lol. So yeah, basically some bitches have run off with the time crystals. I think that's the whole plot of the game. We've got to retrieve the time crystals. And the first place is Siberia, which is um, in Russia. So yep, yeah, first mission, there's play, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, ten. Ten levels. Space station, I think that's where they are at the moment. <laughs> Spoilers! So let's just do Siberia. Um, I, yeah, I think you get the briefing. Yeah, I, know, so. I will read it out in my amazing accent. No, I'm not going to do an accent. I'm trying to do a Russian accent because we're in Russia. No, I'll just read it out normally. The secret research facility under the Siberian Dam has unearthed preserved organic specimens which are over 10,000 years old. Following a number of mysterious accidents, the original scientific team has left the site and a Russian military garrison has been assigned to the excavation project. Intelligence has revealed oh my god, that went below. Intelligence has revealed that the military's attempts to develop biological weaponry from the finds 
have had dreadful results. They must not allow to be continued. Their research was point. Although biohazard cleanup forces are on their way, there is an opportunity to investigate the base and destroy the samples and research records before they arrive. The base is currently under lockdown. The perimeter guards are jumpy and the automated security systems have been engaged. Avoid the cameras. If necessary, they can be switched off or destroyed. Can I have communications up by some time to explore the base more fully? Let's go, bitches! I hope you brought your coats. Because it's going to be cold. Now, I'm sorry it's been a long time, but that's just, that's just what we do, we just can't be asked. No, in all fairness, we've just been playing a lot of games recently. A lot of Pokemon. I blame Ryan for that. Oh, I've got a shot. I just hope the hat sound is working. Nicola. We shouldn't be in the research center without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. They're killers if they find out. Come on, coward. Nicolai, oh no, cliche hands. torch flicker. Stupid torch. Does not mean it's hardly work. The way that guy screamed, that is just it's not even fun. It's always stereotypical, so always do that with black people, make them scream like really weirdly. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think. Okay, um, we've just had a sex change, that's a very odd portal. It's all down to me now. It is all down to me now. And my vodka. Okay. <gasps> Gameplay! No loading screen. Loading. Oblask Dam, Siberia. Probably exists. I'll Google that later. I'm not, I'm not up to date on my damn knowledge. Could be the million dollar question one day though. Remember that Oblask Dam. Probably doesn't exist, but you never know. I'm sure someone will prove me wrong. Now, when they're done giving us the grand tour... Oh, this is first person shooter by the way. <laughs> Just in case that wasn't blatantly obvious. And in we go. Okay, gameplay! No, I'm going to press pause actually. Okay, so the pause menu is actually quite special. As you can see, that's the health bar on the left, that's the arm bar on the right, but that golden eye. This is your inventory, just tells you what um, <coughs> weapons you have. You can punch actually in this game. Good melee system. Oh my god. You have main objectives, which you have to do, or you die. No. Oh, you just have to, otherwise you can't complete a level. And there's also. Yes, of course, I press down. Secondary objectives, which sometimes appear halfway through the level, which I think there's two in this level, and only one. One appears now and one appears later. So we've got a burn on fine cabinet, and I will show you where those are. If later on in a level, the secondary objective is just too annoying, I won't bother. It's not that important. They just unlock the characters, and that's the briefing. So yeah, it tells you all the stuff. Let's um, C stick to move, like the camera ish. Control stick, and R will be to zoom in, but we need a weapon. Oh, actually, you want to go. I want this. Oh shit. Um, yes, uh, you probably want A mode to be toggle. I would. I think it's better than you don't have to like, hold it in, it's kind of quite annoying. And also, <laughs> I didn't realise this, but if you use D-pad, yeah, it makes a lot easier headshot these guys. Boom. Headshot. And then another guy will come up in a minute. Because he's like, oh my god, my friend died. I think. Unless I did that quite well. Oh, we might be right, actually. That's how stealthy I was. They didn't even know. Okay, and then, <clears throat> you want... Don't shoot these barrels, they will blow up. I'm not going to give you an example because that would be deadly. And if these cameras spot you, they'll set an alarm off, which is extremely annoying. So let's, you can you have to hit the front of the... Okay. And then we'll just take out the rest. Oh, there's no one else here. Oh shit. Boom. Headshot. Y to reload. X is gone those. I don't think X does anything. 
B does B crouches. A doesn't do anything. Can you jump? No. Dun 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 There is actually another camera. There's two cameras in the first area. I just can't remember where the other one is. Oh, doors locked. Okay, yeah, we need to get in there. There's some timed mines in there, which we need to destroy them. Really? What you, what you pull it? Now I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably making this look horrible already. It is hard to aim in this game. I'm not gonna lie. For me, I. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know where he came from. Whoa! Why are people randomly attacking me? There's a siren going off. That's odd. I don't normally get attacked like that many people once. And the other camera is there. <laughs> Let's get overkill. Shouldn't know we're here. Oh yeah, I got you right in my sights, bitch. Turn your head around. Bam! So, <laughs> the first objective is deactivate the communications disc. Hmm, where could it be? Oh, hello, communications disc. I think that's actually all the enemies as well. For now, yeah. So there's one filing cabinet that we were in a minute ago, and there's the filing cabinet in this room as well. But we can't blow them up without grenades or mines, and we're going to get some mines in there. Uh, if you couldn't be asked to turn off the cameras, come in here, you can turn the cameras off, it'll give you a, uh, I think you can press A or Y, I mean Y, turn off, because I've destroyed them, there's no point. So to get the mines we need to go on the roof, because if you can't go through the door, go through the roof. And also this opens. That damn makes that's where it just gets nuts. And that's a horrible noise to get out. Ah, my nibbles. So over here. Boop. Unlock the door. Get time lines. Now, I love... I like these, but there's other ones which are remote. You press R to deploy and like Z to blow up. Which are, they're just so awesome. These are pretty good though. They stick. Good shit. And you need to open it. I should, might... <laughs> the CC, I forgot the controls for a second. Yeah, uh, don't stand that close. That's very bad for your health. I, I just want to make sure they explode. I know it tells you, but still. And bloody hell, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. You want to be careful because there will be some. Sometimes, if you're not careful. You shit! I'm not sure if you saw that. Over there, you can probably see it. That bastard thinks he's. Uh. Boom. Headshot. Yeah, and then when you get to the other side, because we go over there in a minute, there's one up there, but you can't see him right now. Uh, so <laughs> let's do something that I always forget. Don't forget to deactivate the communications disc, because the mission actually ends on top of that, and I forgot to do this from last time. <laughs> I like the way this explodes. Just let's watch. Watch where it goes. Boom. Right, that was actually quite accurate because mine was on that side, but normally it always goes over there. It's like scripted, it's pretty weird. But anyway, that's objective number one. Well, we got a lot better. I think temper up link. Basically, I haven't explained that. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, investigate the secret things. I suppose we've got to get up here. Uh, temper up link basically is this and it's a map. Basically. <laughs> basically, but it's a map. This bit can get a bit hairy because. There are enemies like around every corner. And oh, steam is quite hot. So yeah, there's a guy around this corner. Uh, well, I expect him to die quickly. And then guys will come down here probably. Ooh. That was close. That This camera always eludes me. That was perfect, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, if you press L with the pistol, you can cross there. I missed. <laughs> Damn you. I'm so good. Shooting games are not my forte, I'm not gonna lie. They're not they're not my best attribute. Okay. <laughs> Long hallway. Let's just take these guys out side. Oh, suck! Boom. Headshot. Boom, headshot. Boom. Boom, headshot. Uh, that's not actually all of them, but we'll go in. Oh, that was far from all of them. 
Uh, I think it's like three pistol rounds. I got about head height. That's it. Oh yeah, the Soviet, basically Soviet AK-47. I think this basically is. I'm sure Adam will correct me on that because he seems to know anything about guns and shit. And armor, it's like golden eye. Uh, this is steam pressure, and we need to turn it down because there's a foul pressure jet at the end of the hallway that <clears throat> will hurt you and you won't let you pass. Because apparently steam is really painful, and actually it'll probably burn the skin off, so actually it's quite accurate. Bit stupid if you think about it, but then also actually quite logical. 